Hello and welcome back to the devlog. This week I will do a lot of design work for the core features of the app. So there will be a lot of work in Sketch and I will show you how I do the design for my apps there. So let's get started. So last week we left off with the design of the main screen and I wanted to improve it a bit by adding a clear call to action to this screen. So I spent the morning exploring some ideas of how the new main screen could look like. Let's take a look at what I came up with. As you can see there is now a clear call to action on the main screen that will show up every day for the user. I also tweak the fonts for the headings to make them a bit more exciting. On Tuesday I started organizing my sketch document. That means that I defined some colors that I will reuse as well as font styles and some button symbols. This will make the process of creating new screens in the future much faster. Also I will save a lot of time later on if I want to tweak little things like the button color or the border radius of the buttons. This is how my sketch document looks like right now. As you can see, I defined a lot of font styles for every part of the app. These font styles I will use in every screen of the app and if I want to tweak them later, I can do that in just one place and it will update all my screens automatically. Also you can see that I picked three main colors for the app for now and I started creating symbols for the buttons. Symbols in Sketch are reusable components, so I don't need to create them over and over again or copy and paste the same elements in the document. That means if I want to change the button later on, I can just tweak it in one place and it will update on all my screens. Why would you look outside yourself when you have all of the world inside? One, two, three, four. Yeah, your heart is a sun and it shines as it opens. Where your heart is a sun and it shines. On the next day I started planning how the daily check-in in the app could look like. This is the most important feature of the app because it will be used by the user every day. So I started creating a sketch of how this check-in could look like. As you can see, the first thing the user will do is to select his current mood. Depending on the mood the user selected, I will suggest different exercises. If the user is in a good mood, I want to think about long-term goals and dreams. But if the user is in a bad mood, I want to cheer him up and give him some inspiration to start the day. Then the user will get two to three exercises to complete the check-in. Each of the exercises has different goals, like being grateful, getting inspired, remembering good memories or planning your day. At the end of the check-in I might ask the user again about their mood, but I'm not entirely sure about it yet, so let me know what you think about it. After planning and sketching the check-in in the morning, I started designing the screens in the afternoon. I started with the screen for selecting the current mood. You can select from six different emojis representing your current mood.
the next morning I started creating designs for more exercises. Currently I have ideas for six different exercises and if you have any suggestions please let me know. In the afternoon I did some freelance work and I had a call with a friend who just recently started his own business as well. So I decided to continue with the design later in the evening. So I just finished with the design for the new exercises and that's how they look like. You can see my first few ideas for these exercises. One of them is to read affirmations out loud or retype a positive sentence, think about something you want to get done today or think about the last time you had a delicious meal. Another exercise is to get inspired by a quote or to think about a person you are grateful for. On Friday I was going back to my competitor analysis that I did in my first video. The reason for that was that my vision for the app changed a lot over the last few days. So if you find yourself in a similar situation, I would recommend you to do the competitor analysis again. If you haven't seen how I do this competitor analysis yet, then check out my first video where I show how I do this. The rest of Friday I used to edit my blog posts that I want to publish next week. And that's it for this week's devlog. This week I spent most of my time in Sketch, but I also have a much better idea of how the app will look like and how it will help people to get inspired. Next week I will finally start with programming the app and I also want to find a name for this project. If you enjoyed this devlog, please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next devlog.